Hello everybody, today I'm testing a new version of Sonnable SmartEQ. I already did a video for SmartEQ 3 where I explained how you can mix with it. If you want to see that, I will link it in the description or up there. Now for this video I will test um, SmartEQ 4 on some source material. So let's see how it sounds. The first thing you will see when you open SmartEQ 4 is this little info screen. You can also take a tour through the plugin, so let's just do this. SmartEQ 4 is an AI-driven equalizer that makes spectral balancing of single tracks and creating a hierarchy among multiple tracks as fast and intuitive as it should be. We got the track view and the group view. In the track view you can select a track, you can use a profile and then the plugin have to learn the source material. You can use this as a normal equalizer as well. You don't have to use the AI thing to get us started. Track and group fix imbalances of the current track and group masking problems. Track only fix imbalances of the current track. Group only fix masking problems among group members. Okay, that's great. Um, that seems to be a new feature. Group view. Well, that's how you can make groups in SmartEQ. You can add a group and then you can select what tracks you want to be in it. You can um, build your own group. You can choose the priorities. SmartEQ will do adjustments depending on this arrangement. That seems to be the new um, group view. That's how the groups look like in SmartEQ 4. Okay, that's it for the tutorial, so let's go! Starting with the keys. You can turn the analyzer on or off. You also have some settings for the analyzer here. Next thing is to let SmartEQ learn the source material. And that's the adjustments SmartEQ would make for this track. You can change the range of these adjustments. You can adjust how strong this should be. And you can select a profile. Let's take the one for the keys. And as you can see, the curve has changed. I switch to the guitar. I will first select the profile. Let the plugin learn. You can also go negative. You can make manual adjustments. You will learn. Drum set, that's it. So let's add the drums to a group. Let's just call it group one. We can add another instance of the plugin by clicking on this icon. I will add the keys. I name the first one drums. Now we can select which instrument should be in the front, in the middle and in the back. I will take the drums in the back and the keys in the front. Let's try it only with this two. And then we can click learn all. We have to play them together. Well, the queue is ready and it made adjustments depending on the source material of the two of these. They should now fit together. One of the uh, big differences in comparison to the Smart Q3 is this visualization. You can easily see what's happening and um, you can also make adjustments here in this little window. That's a great thing. Let's try to take the drums in the front and the keys in the middle and learn again. 
should sound a bit different then. As you can see, the EQ didn't uh, made the same adjustments and the drums are much more present now. I also added the guitar in this group. It doesn't fit very well in this arrangement, so I put it in the back. Let's see how Smart EQ will handle this. In this case I think we should take the keys in the front and the drums in the middle. Let's try it again. Uh, my manual adjustments are still there. That's good to know. It's nice that uh, you can just make adjustments there. You can select the track that's displayed here. You can also use mid side processing. Make the keys a bit wider and brighter. I shall filter. It's a good way to mix. Okay, I already like it this way. The arrangement is really not perfect, but <laughs> I think it sounds good for this uh, demonstration. I think uh, they made a really great job here. There are a lot of enhancements. I really like this new group view. I like the visualizations. They also added many um, new profiles, um, which I think it's, is really great. That's um, the way how I think AI should work to help engineers and musicians get better results in, in less time. And I personally think that's a good way to use AI uh, to see it as a helping tool, not to replace musicians or engineers. I really love this equalizer. I often use it in my mixes, so I can only recommend to download the 30 days trial. Well, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed watching and if you liked it, maybe you want to give me a thumbs up or even subscribe to my channel. That would be really great. So maybe we will see you next time. Have a nice day. Bye bye.